All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm here, Ralph Becker, and uh, we're at a beautiful residence here in the Avenues. Um, as part of my livability agenda, we have focused considerable attention on how we, how we protect our water supply, how we use water wisely, how we protect our watersheds in the mountains. And I'm pleased today to announce that uh, consistent with the long history that we have of working with our, uh, with our community to protect the critical water resources, um, a vital aspect of that is how we conserve our water. Um, and today we're um, announcing a new program to our public utilities customers. Uh, and we've worked uh, closely, really, with the work uh, that's been um, accomplished in the last few years at the legislature to modify the existing rules relating to water rights um, and rain catchment. So for the first time, residents are allowed to use the use of rain barrels and cisterns on private property. This uh, initiative is called the Salt Lake City Rain Barrel Initiative. And it's to encourage customers and assist them in using their water more wisely. The initiative provides two main benefits to utilities residential water customers. Uh, first, the barrels provide a low-cost low method to capture rainwater for landscape use. Uh, and second, the effort prov um, helps promote one of the utilities, public utilities' most effective water conservation efforts, uh, the water check program. <coughs> So I think we're all aware that regardless of weather conditions that we live in, an area that has never been uh, uh, had enough water to use by, by most of our, our, uh, our standards, but more importantly, we've never had water to waste. And this program helps provide both the new tools and new knowledge to assist every Salt Lake City resident and our public utilities customers outside of the city to make responsible water use choices. Um, the initiative for rain barrels is coupled with the water check program. So uh, that will offer high quality rain barrels at cost to households within utility service areas that have participated in the water check program to collect and use water uh, resources in their landscapes. Uh, we hope that our water users will take advantage of this great new program and help us continue to make Salt Lake City the best place in the country to live, work, and play. Uh, now, I want to turn some time over to our city water conservation manager who's been doing a, an incredible job uh, for many years now, Stephanie Dewar, who will share more details on the program and offer a tutorial on how easy it is uh, to incorporate a rain barrel at most residences. Stephanie? Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming this morning. I'm Stephanie Dewar, Salt Lake City's water conservation manager. And we're here today to see our new rain barrel. And the reason we're offering the rain barrel and linking it to the water check program is because we want to make sure that we enhance existing programs that have been so effective in the city for all of our customers that we continue our efforts in um, achieving our long-term goals and reducing water use in not just the landscape and in all other, in other facets. And that we gain information and knowledge about how best to utilize rain barrels and how to make them an efficient and effective tool for homeowners. And rather than stand here and chat a lot, I'm going to invite you to step over to our rain barrel and we'll go through a tutorial. I can give you program details there and answer any questions. Yes. Hold on first. Yeah, questions? Tell us a little bit about the water check program. Oh, absolutely. So the water check program is something we've been doing in partnership with Utah State University since 2003, though we had a water check program long before then. We actually were the first city that had a water check program. And what that is, is it brings trained irrigation specialists into uh, onto private properties, whether it's a home or a commercial property, to do a visual and physical assessment of an irrigation system so it's an in-ground pressurized water system that we're looking at for lawns. And then they provide that homeowner or property owner with information about how to make that system, how to run the system so they don't overwater. But the best part of the water check program is that we provide a detailed list of what that homeowner can do to improve the system. So we identify things like 
tilted or broken heads, um, mismatched heads. We measure um, water pressure to see if it's at the optimum level so that we want to make sure that when we leave, they have a list of things they can do to make the system as efficient as possible. We also, as the utility, gain a lot of information about irrigation systems in the process so that we can fine tune our education programs for the future to make them even more effective than they already are. Most of our water check customers um, have experienced a reduction in water use consistently year to year from 13 to over 35 percent and this is long-term savings so this isn't just the year after they have the water check but we've been monitoring water use at these um, sites for years and that water use reduction um, is lower than on comparable properties that haven't had water checks so it's a very very effective program and it's a great service and it's offered free to our customers I, off the top of my head, I know there's been thousands of properties um, every year. There's We're not the only community that has water checks now. It's offered nearly statewide in Salt Lake City within our service area. So we ser provide water to Salt Lake City, Cottonwood Heights, um, Holiday, Mill Creek Township, portions of Murray South, Salt Lake. Those areas this year we had just under 200 participants in just our area. Last year it was a little over 200. One thing we want to do with the Rain Barrel program after we do this initial run is look to see if we can use a Rain Barrel initiative to incentivize and increase um, participation in the water check program because it does have such um, measurable and meaningful water savings over a long period of time. So that's one of the things, and Stephanie, maybe you could talk about that, but that's one of the things I think that, that we're doing as part of the Rain Barrel Program we think is particularly effective, and that is when you sign up for the Rain Barrel Program, if you haven't already, take advantage of the Water Check Program. We also want people to look at how they conserve water on their properties, and so we're leveraging something that we hope a lot of people will want, and that is rain barrels uh, as a way they can help uh, provide water more cheaply and more effectively themselves. Uh, with the water conservation program. Absolutely. Stephanie, I wonder if you might also uh, talk a little bit, because this, the water check program, the new, this new rain barrel program is part of a broader initiative uh, that Salt Lake City has undertaken really for years now uh, to reduce water use. And it goes everything from the way we structure our water rates uh, to things like providing conservation education and, and measures uh, on people's properties. But you might talk to that. And even landscaping changes. So, so um, this is just one initiative. It's the latest initiative in a large um, portfolio of water conservation measures that we've been implementing for years. Um, we have tiered rate structures that help uh, send a strong message about the value of water. The more water you use, the more expensive it becomes. Um, we have, uh, so we have tiered rate structures, we have volumetric sewer charges, we have water conservation demonstration gardens, which we involve community members as volunteers in working in those gardens and then also helping with educational programs in those gardens. We do, um, we provide information and guidance on landscaping, turf selection. We have an interactive website that we launched last year. It's slcgardenwise.com, which is a fabulous website where you can take virtual garden tours of WaterWise gardens throughout our entire service area and learn about the plants that are in those gardens and get watering tips and get troubleshooting information, even make a maintenance log for your own landscape. So we have a, a large selection and collection of information. If you think of it as, um, we have everything from, you know, I think of studiers, streakers, and strollers. We have a range of information from people who just want a quick answer to people who really want to know more about how to save water. And we try to make sure that we have information and program measures that address all those needs and levels of involvement. We've reduced our water use significantly over the last 14 years, and the last eight years have been amazing. Our water customers are doing such a fabulous job in reducing their water demand. So do you know off your head a percentage of water use reduction in the city? Well, it's, it, it depends on the year, so it fluctuates. The trend is downward. Uh, our water use reduction is roughly between 20 and 25 percent um, over the length of our conservation program term. So we've been doing a great job. This year is greater than that. Uh, we have a chart that we post on Facebook uh, periodically that shows our water use demand and right now we have done a really good job this summer particularly folks are getting the message about the water the drought um, we don't know what next year or the year after will bring and everyone's being really aware of how they're using water we're seeing a really great response when we have a rain event 
people are turning off their sprinklers. So I would say we're probably more than 25% reduction at this point. But the year isn't over yet, so it's, I hate to guess. But we'll post that picture again today on our Facebook page, which is, um, if you go to Facebook forward slash SLCPU, um, you can like us on Facebook and you'll get all kinds of updates about water conservation and other utility issues. The water check is free, The water. how much is this? The water check is free. The barrels are $68, which covers a reimbursement for the cost. So we're just um, looking for program reimbursement so we can keep the program sustaining. And is it one barrel per family? Right now, because we have a limited number, it's one barrel per household that has participated in a water check. We're sort of looking at how best to do a water a rain barrel program. So we're hoping this initial offering will give us a lot of good information so that when we ex look into expanding this program, we do it in a way that is meaningful and valuable. How many do you have? Right now we have 208. How many have been dispersed? Well, today is the first day of the okay. barrel program, so none have been this is our first so barrel. 207. <laughs> 207. <laughs> That's right. There may be someone qu quickly who signs up uh, for it right well, here. Yeah. So. <laughs> what, what happens if more people want it? I mean, well, we'll we'll take their name and numbers, and uh, you know, after evaluating how the program went this year, then we w are looking to purchasing more potentially for next year and expand the program. But first, we want to make sure that it's a meaningful program. Uh, the one thing we've been very successful with our water conservation efforts is that we select program initiatives that actually return the value of that initiative in terms of reducing water use. So we're hoping that this is a successful program. And next year, we can do more. OK. And this is, this is September, after all. So yeah. in terms of the interest, it may be a little <laughs> bit less at this, at this time of year. But. Can you give us any sort of idea of how much money people save? How much money with the rain barrel? Well, with um, the water conservation program. Yeah, with the, the program. It's, uh, it's hard to say how much money people save because it depends on how much water they were using. Um, any water use reduction, though, reduces their water bill. So it depends. If you don't use very much and you save a little bit of water, then your bill's not going to go down as much as if you were a larger water user. But that's, so that's a tough one to answer because it, it depends on how much water someone was using to begin with. But any, any water use reduction saves money.